What's up, guys? Welcome to another pickup episode. I'm Joe for Gamer Toys. Let's get into some mail. First one. All right, we got some vintage Ninja Turtles, as usual. Variant Turtles. This was like the first, the first variants that we kind of got in the vintage line. We have the Sewer Surf and Mikey. We got Space Cadet Raph. Undercover Don, which is one of my favorites, one of the first figures that I got as a kid. And we have the Sewer Samurai Leonardo. Um, I picked these up off of Instagram. The name of the seller escapes me right now, but I will link them down below once I look it up. Shout out to you, check them out. We have the case with the stickers for Undercover Don, uh, his mask, the gun with the bang flag, and the black piece of rotten pizza. Um, what I like about this is you can put the pizza in the case. He can go ahead and hold that. He can hold his gun. Turtles with guns, it's kind of weird. And then you can put the mask around his face. So bam, there you go, a complete undercover Don. The paint looks great. There's not a lot of play wear, really. It looks pretty mint. Next up, we have Space Cadet Raph. This figure is great. I love the sculpt. Uh, I love the sculpted green alien on the back there. Uh, he comes with a crazy space gun, a crazy space sword, his helmet, which fits over nicely. So yeah, Space Cadet Raph, he can hold his sword here. Funny that he didn't come with a space side. Would have made more sense, but that's okay. You know, turtles, more guns for the turtles. So yeah, Space Cadet Raph. Next up, let's do Super Samurai Leonardo. Figure looks great. Uh, the paint is pretty good. Not a whole lot of wear. He's uh, missing armor on the shoulders, I believe. Uh, that's the only thing he's missing, but I'm not that worried. Pretty sweet figure. I can pick up another uh, loose figure, maybe without the weapons, but one that has that to you know make a complete one. Comes with the sword and the sheath. The sword is nice and straight, and he comes with his sewer samurai flag with the sun logo i have a lot of memories of this figure so i'm really stoked to have it back uh super samurai leo last but not least we have mikey he is missing a few things definitely remember having this guy i got these four turtles with all the accessories that they came with for like 30 bucks so i can't really complain there it was an awesome deal so i'm always happy to add more vintage tmnt to the collection I have a couple shelves over here that they're getting a little full, you know, when you see a good deal. Sometimes they're just too cheap to pass up. Moving right along. Next one. This figure right here, this comes from, uh, you know, everyone's favorite dungeon master. Uh, Jabba's Toy Dungeon on Instagram, Brandon. Awesome guy, awesome seller. One of these days we're gonna get together. And he posted this in one of his last sales and I grabbed it because it was at a really good price. Uh, the card is definitely beat up, but honestly that just adds character to the piece. Uh, especially with this being a made in Mexico Lily Letty Reese on the card. It's hard to see, but right here above my finger it says made in Mexico. As Brandon stated, you can definitely see the marking on Ree's weapons, which also confirms it. I've just been on a big Lily Letty kick over the last couple months, and I seem to just kind of have fallen into a Ree's focus, because I picked up a couple loose Letty Ree's for really cheap, and I bought a uh, loose complete one from Brandon, you know, a couple months ago. Uh, I'm always happy to add another Letty piece to the collection. So Brandon, shout out to you. Thank you, my friend. And last but not least, the only modern piece this week. This was kind of a happy surprise because I stumbled across this at Meyer, and I didn't even know that they were doing this line. And that is the Wanted Bebop and Rocksteady. And this is the 80s Rocksteady. So he's done up in his classic style from the 80s cartoon, which is awesome because this Rocksteady figure has a great sculpt this one has a great paint. There's definitely a lot more paint apps on this figure than you normally get in this line. He comes with a, what looks like some kind of hammer and some kind of sickle or hook. It shows Rocksteady and it shows 80s style Bebop and 80s Leonardo, which is I guess supposed to be like the undercover turtles line. The ones that had the soft good trench coat and stuff. I'm assuming that these three are the only three in the 80s like side wave, I don't even know what you want to call it. Stoked to find this. 
All right, guys, these are my pickups. We got some Ninja Turtles, vintage and new, and a Lily Letty Rees. Not too long now, I'll be at the uh, Chicago King County Toy Show. So if any of you guys are heading out to that show, hit me up, let's meet up. I'm gonna be meeting up with Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces down there, and we're gonna have a great time. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next show. Wait, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.